Hey there, this is Nina at Walla Stamping. Thanks for joining me today. So this is the project that we're going to be doing. I've seen several people lately who created their own tags for wine bottles that they were giving as gifts. And you know, this is the month of December and so many times you get invited to Christmas parties and Christmas dinners and such. And bringing a bottle as a a gift to your host or hostess I think is an excellent idea um, so anyways it inspired me to create a gift tag and just put my own spin on it now these are not traditional Christmas colors but just because you give someone a bottle of wine as a gift during the month of December it doesn't mean that it has to be Christmas colors so what I've gone with is some early espresso old olive very vanilla and copper so let's move this to the side and I will show you how to create this gift tag now first of all I've got a piece of early espresso this is cut to nine and a half by three and a quarter and I've scored it at three inches and then I used let me grab them I used the layering circles framelit dies and the one that I used to cut out the um, circle for the neck of the wine bottle is this one it's one and seven eighths inches and so all I did was um, center that in between the score line and the edge of my paper just visually and run it through the big shot and get that cut out. Now for the pine cones and the pine branches I used the Pretty Pines Thinlets. I used all three of the pine branches, the large bow, these two branches, and the pine cones. Um, and then to tie around the, the, the bag, around the neck of the bottle, all I did was just use a little piece of the gold baker's twine from this baker's twine trio pack. And then I used um, one of the pearl, or let's see, what are these called? I think they're called metal rimmed yeah metal rimmed pearls to put on top of the bow and then I just use glue dots to put it all together because I have found recently using glue dots makes a project especially something smaller like this that you're putting layers of things on top of each other it makes it go by just like that it makes it quick so that is what you're going to be doing with your early espresso is getting that cut out and cutting out the circle for the neck of the bottle then this piece of old olive is five inches by one and a quarter and what I'm going to do to kind of make it look like a ribbon is I'm just going to take my scissors and cut up the center like that and that's probably about five-eighths of an inch then I'll start at this outer corner and cut in toward that center cut that I made originally and then do the same thing on this side and it will give me this ribbon look so I'm going to use glue dots through this whole process and um, it works great and it's really quick so there we go. Then what I'm going to do is just, turn, and I'm sorry, I bumped the camera. Uh, turn that over, center it up left to right, and just stick it down pretty close to where you have that score line there. And I used some of the Dazzling Diamonds paper, and as you can see, this is the piece that I used to cut some of my leaves out of. So basically, you're going to need a scrap. Um, depending on how many uh, branches you want to do, um, I've cut out four, but you could do more or less uh, according to what you want to do. And then this is about the size of the piece of very vanilla that I used used to cut out some of the leaves. Then um, I have this smaller piece of old olive that I used to cut out the bow. This is about one and three quarter inches wide by um, about an inch tall. Then I have just a small scrap piece of the copper foil that I used to cut out these little branches and the pine cones with. And um, I've got all of these pieces cut out um, just for the sake of saving some time on this project. So this is how I put mine together. And I just cut a bunch of different size branches. I used all three of the sizes, but I just cut a variety of number of each of them. Just start layering your branches using the glue dots. As you can see, um, I've kind of got it on there at an angle. Some of my branches are coming straight down. Some are kind of leaning toward the left and then some spray off toward the top. So I start with the largest one and I've got it kind of angled to the left here and I just keep layering glue dots and branches put one there 
this truly does make this project very quick and simple. Put one of my dazzling diamond ones there. And then I'll put one or two going up in the opposite direction. Get another dazzling diamond one. And I just keep layering it until what I have is visually pleasing to me. And then that looks about like what I want it to look like. So I'm going to attach these two copper branches. And I think that I can get by using one glue dot for both of these because the stems are really thin and both of those will line up on one glue dot. Then I will put down my pine cones and I'm just using glue dots to do this with as well. Okay. There we go. Now we'll put our bow on there next. So here's our bow, another glue dot, and I put the bow on toward the top of those pine cones like that, and I turned it at somewhat of an angle toward the right. Then let me grab my pearls, and I use the largest one. You could use any size you want. I just, my preference is to use the larger one. And I may have to use my scissors to get that um, paper backing off the adhesive. There we go. Then just line that up in the center of that bow. Then I used um, Stampin' Up's pleated um, cellophane bag and this is a huge bag it's 17 inches by 6 inches plenty big enough for a wine bottle to go I just put the wine bottle in my bag put my twine around the front and pulled well I don't think I cut a big enough piece let me get a little bit bigger piece of twine because I don't think that one's going to be quite big enough for me to work with Okay, this may be better. Actually, I think what I did, instead of starting around the front, I started in the back. If I can pick it up, my goodness, I'm just having one of those days. I've gotten to where everything I have touched, I've dropped, or <laughs> it has just been a crazy day. But I am pushing through. Okay, so pull it around the front and tie it. So I've got that tied around the back and then I'm just, I'm going to leave a, a little bit of those strands hanging down, probably two and a half or three inches worth. Then I gather up my cellophane bag at the top and slide the tag down over that. And you may just have to wiggle it and work with it just a little bit, but then there you go. So I have two wine bottles now and they both have gorgeous tags on them and you could also choose a sentiment or a greeting of some sort from any of our stamp sets and you could take an extra piece of old olive and put it across the bottom and stamp something on there if you want to that would be perfectly fine um, but I think that if you're actually handing the wine bottle to your dinner host or your party host or hostess they're gonna know who gave it to them so anyways I hope that this will inspire you to create some wine bottle tags for some of the dinner parties or Christmas parties that maybe you'll be invited to this year and um, if you will Go on my website at walleyestamping.com and make a comment on this post. I will put um, one of these kits together and draw a name and someone will win a kit to make for a wine bottle gift of their own. So I hope you guys had a great day and enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon.